If you're trying to get into the tech industry, you've probably noticed a few things. One is you may have heard a lot about layoffs. You may have had ghosted job applications, just no replies coming back from recruiters and potential employers. Now you're not imagining it, the job industry has definitely changed. But here's the thing that most people just don't realize. It's certainly not dead, it's not even shrinking. The tech job market is just evolving at the moment. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what's going on. I'll help you understand which job roles are growing, why so many job seekers are actually struggling at the moment, and what you need to do to actually stand out in a job market like this one. I'm Neil Davis, the founder of Digital Cloud Training, and I've worked in this industry for over 25 years. So I've seen lots of these cycles before, and I've trained over a million students and helped them to pass their certification exams and land tech jobs, even during tough economic times. With my years in tech, I've certainly seen the job markets rise, crash, and recover. And right now, we're at another turning point. I'm gonna break that down in this video. So let's start with the obvious. Yes, some big companies like Google, like Meta, like Amazon have definitely cut their staff and AI is changing how many jobs are actually done and it does feel harder now to break into tech than it might have done sort of two or three years ago. But the truth is that the overall demand for cloud and AI skills is actually growing. How do I know this? Well, Gartner projects that global public cloud spending will hit 723 billion in 2025, up from 595 billion in 2024. So that's a big increase. Cloud infrastructure spending jumped 21% in Q1 of this year, 2025. And AI investment is skyrocketing with 340 billion expected in 2025 across industries. AI mostly lives in the cloud, so it's running on cloud. So all that investment, a lot of that goes into the underlying cloud platform layer and then the AI systems that are built on top of it. McKinsey found, in fact, that 63% of businesses are increasing their AI spend even when they're tightening budgets in other areas. So even during economic times, businesses must evolve. They must find a way to bring new services to market to be competitive. And AI is one of the ways that they're doing that. And all that AI spend, it means cloud is growing along with it because most of it is being built in the cloud. So why is it then that people are still struggling? Well, the thing is that the bar for hiring has gone up. It's not enough to have a certification anymore and a basic resume. Hiring managers are looking for real-world experience. They want people who can design and deploy, not just memorize services and pass certification exams. They need you to demonstrate your confidence in solving real-world business problems and how you've done it before. And most job applicants are falling short. They don't have the project work. They don't have the portfolio. They haven't got teamwork experience that they can demonstrate. They can't discuss well how they've solved problems in the past. They're just another resume and a stack of hundreds of applications sometimes, and they don't get noticed. It's not that the companies are not hiring. It's just that they don't have the right skills and experience to be competitive and be chosen for those roles. Now, the good news is there are huge opportunities for the right roles. So it's really about making sure that you have the right skills for those particular roles. Lots of job opportunities, but a lot of people applying. So again, all about making sure that you can stand out from the crowd. Really important today to specialize with the skill set that you have. So for example, cloud engineering is very popular. You've got to make sure you have the cloud platform experience. You need to know things like Terraform and CloudFormation. You need to have some Linux and some programming skills, preferably with Python. Cloud architects are in high demand for designing and building the systems that are going to run in the cloud. Again, if you can layer on some AI skills on top of that architecture experience and skill set, then that really puts you in even greater demand as well. And then cloud AI ML engineers who have a more of a focus on the underlying machine learning and gen AI application building. So these roles are super popular because every business is moving to the cloud now because they all want to invest in AI. They all want to bring some new service to market that's AI enabled and become more competitive in their market space. To do that, they need to build AI applications and to do that, they need to move to the cloud because that's where those services and that capability and the capacity to run those workloads actually exists. So this does mean that demand for people who can build, scale, and secure infrastructure and applications in the cloud is increasing. But make no mistake, the game has changed. 
employers really want people who've built and deployed real-world solutions. So you need to be able to demonstrate that. They want team players who can present and defend their design decisions. So again, some ex hands-on experience, some real-world scenario-based experience on how you've worked through problems and solved issues and built and deployed in a team. And engineers who can combine cloud fundamentals with AI tool chains are going to be in very high demand. Also, candidates who can understand business value, not just technical theory. So especially in the architecture realm, that's really important. So how do you become that person who can land a tech role in the industry this year? It's not just about collecting certifications, though those are important. It's about making sure you have the right skills to be in high demand. You need to master cloud computing fundamentals, compute, storage, networking, identity and access management, and Linux as an operating system that's the most popular one in the cloud. You need to learn infrastructure automation tools like Terraform and CloudFormation and CICD and monitoring tools. Highly recommend that you build Gen AI and ML skills. In AWS, that's principally Bedrock and SageMaker, but other tools like Langchain are extremely important for agentic AI as well. You'll want to join real-world projects, so find a way that you can actually build some real-world experience working with others, collaborating, iterating your designs and your deployments, presenting as well. All really awesome skills that will help to get you through an interview and into a job. And you need a tech portfolio, so you need to have some project work that you can showcase on LinkedIn, on GitHub, project write-ups and so on and a really good strategy for how you are going to outreach, how you're going to get in front of employers and make sure you're not just another resume in a very busy inbox. Now, if you want to work with us at Digital Cloud Training, we do all of that inside our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp. We help you to land a six-figure role in the industry. You build very, very strong hands-on skills. We put you in groups of people working with them on real-world projects, just like you would in a company if you were employed and being assigned something by your manager. And we run regular live training sessions, Q&A sessions, and much, much more. So we really want to make sure that you get the strongest hands-on real-world skill set possible. If you're interested in working with me and my team, check out the link in the description of this video. So in summary, the tech job market is definitely not broken. It's evolving. It's actually growing. It's just about having the right skill sets. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.